the embargo section with all content uh, embargo until 10 30 pm today. Vinny? Yeah. Uh, Jürgen, I want to start on Trent, please, because obviously when <laughs> speaking about him being left out of the squad to face Germany, Gareth Southgate said we had Kieran, who at the moment I feel his all-round game is ahead of Trent's. Um, I just wonder, what are your thoughts on what's been said and, and what conversation have you had with Trent over the situation that he's facing, battling to get to a World Cup? And does he even need a, a, a pick-me-up at all? Does he need a lift at the moment? Do you really want to open this box? I mean it. No, actually, you're an English journalist, and we can now discuss selections, um, whatever, until the World Cup starts. It's one of the reasons why you, why you, make, why you make massive stories of these kind of things, um, why the team cannot prepare properly. If you ask me for my honest opinion, we will create headlines. That's clear. You want that? Helps Germany, maybe. I'm not sure, but it doesn't help England. It's, I don't know why we do that. It's a normal. It's a situation. That a manager, a manager picks a player or not, um, which I would decide obviously differently. But I'm not in in charge for, for this team, and that's why it is so. If you wanna, if you wanna discuss it, I'm. I have a lot of things to say, but I'm really not sure that it makes sense. I'm happy to, to discuss it as well. Because, yeah, I know, of course you're happy. <laughs> I mean, I, I find it surprising that he's... Is anybody else interested in the top check or is just guy? <laughs> no, I, I find it interesting only yes. because... King, yes, Tom, yes. Tom is not here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, you are here. Sorry, I'm hiding. No. No, no. <laughs> I find it interesting because obviously Trent has won just 17 caps since his deb debut in 2018 and only one of those has come in the last year as well. And we all know the qualities that, that Trent has. So... I'm just wondering as well how it impacts him because obviously he's desperate to go to World Cup. He'd like to be a starting fullback for England as well, I'd imagine. So you've got a situation to manage a player here, but also I'm wondering oh, does, does he need a pick me up? Because are, of what's we, been said about it? We are fine here because it's completely different. Because um, obviously I see him differently. That's clear. That's obvious. Um, there are stories out there that uh, all the time people. Um, talk about him and, and say he, he's not a good defender. That's not true. He's a good defender. He doesn't defend always good. That's true as well. Um, that's what we are working on. He's a young player. He's 23. Um, and there's space for improvement, definitely. But I think really we only discuss it on, on the level we discuss it because his offensive impact is so extreme for us. Or it could be for each team in the world, I would say. So from my point of view, it's easy, it's easy to pick whichever team I would coach in the moment, I would sign him, because he's exceptional. Is he, is he always exceptional? No. <laughs> I never met a player who is always exceptional. So that's it now. But the rest now, it's now it's Gareth's job to find a team. And England is obviously blessed with a lot of really, really talented players on, the, on, on a similar position, and it's, and it's difficult to line them all up together, and in this specific case it could work. Because obviously Reese James can play in a three in the back. They did that for Chelsea pretty well. Um, would be probably interesting to see um, how how they could interchange positioning. We all see that when you play, it depends on how you play with three in the back. If you keep them deep, then it's a um, different story. But if you want to have them um, want to be them have them in, being involved in offensive situations, then Reese James even as a centre back could be. Uh, involved in that, all these kind of things, the tactical stuff, not too, not too interesting. Um, but again, it's it's Gareth's decision, and we made a decision. And again, the only thing I can really say, I would I would I see it differently, but that doesn't mean it's right or wrong. I just see him every day, and um, um, and for Trent now, that's probably the most important. He came back. He's now not. He came not in and um, was in party mood, but he was not. He just accepts the, he accepts the decision of the manager as well, um, because he understands football pretty well. He's an extremely smart boy um, and did everything right. And as a player, you never can do more than offer what you can offer. And then in football, there's one guy who decides if that's enough or not, and that's the manager. And, and here, more often than not, it is. It's uh, it's the case that he that he's picked, and for England, obviously not. Yeah, 
That's it. I understand. It's, it's clear. He's, 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 for me, he's a world-class player. And not playing then for the country is, is difficult, but it's only because there are other players who are pretty good as well um, and play for, for world-class teams as well. So that's how it is. And um, yeah, actually, rather nice problem to have, and better than having no right back. Germany had for a long time no right back. That's Philipp Lahm played it all the time, and we had this kind of discussion. But here we have four, and for sure there are some others, all the younger ones, already waiting. Um, that's it. And it's a difficult, it's a difficult one for a, for the manager of a, of, a, of a national team. I think some players don't play in their clubs, and but it's still important for for the national team these kind of things. But again, I would, if you want them to play a good World Cup, then don't cook it too hot. I would say. So otherwise, you discuss this until November and um, forget. And don't, don't let them work properly. They, obviously, I think you could see a little bit that England is slightly under pressure because they don't play to their full quality in this moment. Um, but that's obviously possible at the, at the World Cup. So if you want to have that, good stories with negative headlines, work on it. If you want to be a bit more supportive, work on it. Let them do the job and criticize afterwards. So how are you looking squad-wise? Because obviously we saw Kanate, Ramsey and Kelleher all train yesterday. Are they fit to play this weekend? How else are you looking fitness-wise as well? We didn't see Nunes, Diaz, Jota or Robertson uh, training yesterday. Also, Naby and Curtis, what's the, the latest in regards to that? Okay, man, you have to help me a little bit. So some are still out doing rehab. That's Robbo, that's um, Curtis, that's Oxley, that's Naby. If I'm on arms. Yeah, they're definitely these four. Nunes, um, Diaz and Jota. Yeah, they came back from international. Um, how it always is, long flight. So Louis only landed yesterday morning. So um, I didn't see him yet. I heard he's good, but um, see him on, only later now. Um, Darwin, yeah, precaution after intense um, travel and, and, and games. Same for Diogo. That's it, I think. Um, uh, Kelvin is not ready to play, but over the moon that he can train now, it's fine, it's really good. Um, so he just needs now training, 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 and there will be a moment when he probably will play to 23 so that he can get a game because we play uh, now all the time. Um, but that's fine. Um, Queef, I think, will play this weekend U23 so that he can have a game. It's obviously not his season yet. He's quite injured for a long time, um, but looks good in training, it's completely fine. Um, and Ibu needs training as well. So yes, back um, for the weekend depends to training today. And uh, but um, he's back and that's good. And you've had no Premier League game for almost a month now. You have had obviously two Champions League games in between that. I just wonder though that lack of Premier League games is it problematic or is it ben beneficial to you, especially when you take into account as well that Brighton haven't played at all in four weeks now. Up. Uh, okay, that's a different two different questions. Obviously, two different subjects. Um, for us. Um, I would have loved to play the games, the, the Premier League games, but it was not possible. Uh, and the, the, the issue we have with that is just I have no clue where they put it in. <laughs> but that's not a problem for now. But we will see how we how we deal with that. Um, probably, yeah, next year. Um, don't like to have a game in hand or two games in hand. This kind of thing is not cool. Um, but it's a situation, so we cannot change that. So we don't think about it too much. Um, yeah, and from apart from that, the majority of my players played. So we didn't play, that's true, but they played, most of them. Um, the Brazilians not so much, but at least up a little bit. Um, so that's fine, that should be fine. But of course, we, from, from, we, for us we don't, we never are out looking for excuses, and this is for sure not a moment where we, where we think about that. We have to show consistency. The, the, thank God the last game we played against Ajax was a good game, we showed the right reaction. Uh, we showed the right intensity, we, so we, we left, if you want, pretty much in a rather positive mood. Um, imagine we would have, our last game would have been Napoli. Wow, that would have been a great international break, uh, able to talk to the boys. So, but that's where we have to, that's where we have to go from, again, and immediately. Now we talk about Brighton, and that's a strange situation. Eh? So they, they, they change the manager, and usually if you change the manager, then you can expect I think at the first session together with the team of some visa problems of Monday or whatever. It's not a lot, but it's um, more than I had when I when, when I came here. So, yeah, usually when you when a manager 
uh, when there's a manager change, then it's uh, the, the old manager got sacked. That means something didn't go well. But Brighton did extremely well before, um, and now they have a really exciting new manager. I have, Brighton is doing an incredible job, um, was, uh, he, and he did an incredible job at Sassuolo and, and, and Schachter. Probably most of the people saw remember the game against against Madrid. Um, a really good game, and that's him. He's a really brave coach. He's um, very influential. I, I don't know how good his English is in the moment. That was a bit, could be a bit an issue, but apart from that, his football idea suits Brighton, which is a football playing team. And but we don't know what we expect. Obviously, how much is old Brighton? How much is new Brighton? The only thing what we know is a really good team, and um, in a good. They were in a good moment before. Um, they couldn't play anymore because, uh, by the way, I don't know why they, but their first game was cancelled. Uh, there was a train strike. 